Come here, camera. A little far off there, buddy. Probably gonna be an MM casual moment, but since when has YouTube ever been about being knowledgeable? The internet doesn't care. Just take a look around. Look at all the people that are famous. You think those people are Harvard IQ ball knowers? <laughs> That being said, the tier list you're about to see was generated by a super advanced artificial intelligence bot that none of you have access to, only me. So if you disagree, unfortunately, you are empirically wrong. The bot also places uh, sports bets for me. It has never lost. It always beats the bookies. And if you'd like to pay for my picks, they're $500 a piece. Cocaine isn't cheap. I don't actually need the money. I just, uh, cause, cause I, cause I always beat the bookies. It, Okay, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. You're honestly an idiot. I don't know what's wrong with you. 2024 NFL quarterback tier list. We've got the full 2023 season in the books. I will not be ranking any players that are about to get drafted. There is nothing I hate more than people telling me how good a player is going to be in the NFL. Nobody knows which quarterback's gonna be good in the NFL. So just shut up. Just let them play first and then we'll talk about it. It's gonna be really tough to land yourself in F tier. I'll just say that right now at the gates. I really only think that there are two NFL quarterbacks that are S tier. I think that's Lamar Jackson and Patrick Mahomes. Now, Lamar Jackson won MVP, but that doesn't mean anything to me. This was such a dog water MVP season. Comparing Lamar to his other MVP season, you would think he got so much worse. It was just not a high caliber MVP season in the NFL, so I don't think that works in anybody's favor. People who say Lamar's a running back are, are actually delusional. Like, actually. This guy is incredible. Now, Lamar Jackson lacks the dynasty that Patrick Mahomes has. I think Patrick Mahomes has all the accolades, all the stats, because number one, he's an incredible quarterback, but he's in a better system than Lamar. Kind of feel bad for Lamar. If you watch the NFL, you know that Lamar can make absolutely insane throws. I don't want to hear any Lamar B bullshit. This guy is incredible. But while watching that championship game, they just sucked. They sucked. They forgot that, the, you know, they were a dominant run game team in the most important game of the season. There's a sad championship game taking that out of the way, though. He's still an S-tier quarterback. So, so those guys are S-tier. Let's talk about a guy, Justin Fields. Ooh, Justin Fields is a really tough one. As a quarterback, I think Justin Fields is absolutely a step up from Kenny Pickett. I think Kenny Pickett is an objectively worse quarterback than Justin Fields. I think Justin Fields in the Chicago Bears offense just didn't have the opportunities that he should have. I think Chicago failed him, but I also think Justin Fields underperformed. Justin Fields was supposed to be an ARS tier quarterback. Many people thought he'd be way better than he has performed thus far, but I still don't think he's bad. I'm excited to see what he does in Pittsburgh. I hope he does better than he's done. I think people really expect him to be up here, but I think like Justin Fields haters would actually say he's F tier. I just think that's not true. You have to take Chicago into effect when you're evaluating Justin Fields. So I'm putting him at C tier. And that being said, I think he's a step up from Kenny Pickett. I'm putting Kenny Pickett in D tier. Now, I guess you could kind of make the same counter argument, which is the Pittsburgh Steelers offense is not doing anybody any favors. I think we're going to know the, the true validity of that when we see the Pittsburgh Steelers this upcoming season. Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. My personal opinion, I expect Russell Wilson to be the starter for like six, seven weeks, and then Justin Fields steps in. That's what I expect to happen. Now, if Russell ends up playing really, really good football, they're never going to take him out. But I kind of expect it to be kind of like a mentorship role, and then Fields takes over. He's better than Kenny Pickett. I can't put Kenny Pickett in C tier if I'm putting Justin Fields in C tier. Geno Smith. I really like Geno Smith. Geno Smith is a quarterback that was expected to just be so horrible as Russell left, and then he really, really stepped it up. But a bit of it was delusion. It was like, oh my God, Geno Smith is so good. Geno Smith just, Geno Smith that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I like Geno Smith as a solid like role player quarterback, but with Geno Smith behind the helm, I don't see any NFL team having serious success, but I still like him better than a guy like Justin Fields right now. I like Geno Smith. I'm not putting him in ARS, but I'll put him in B tier. Zappy's dog shit almost could put him in F tier, but I'm not going to. I'll put him in D tier alongside Kenny Pickett. Who would you rather have? Probably Kenny Pickett. Are either of these guys absolutely just dog shit horrendous? I'm gonna say no. I'm putting Jalen Hurts in A tier. Really, really, really like Jalen Hurts. Last half of the season was pitiful. And I'm going to make a comparison that hopefully isn't true because I really like Jalen Hurts. Do you remember when the Arizona Cardinals a few years back were just started the season?
season so good. They still had Chandler Jones. They were like, I think they were 10-0 to start the season. Then they proceeded to lose six straight games, and then they got shit on in the first round of the playoffs by the Rams, who then went on to win the Super Bowl, I think. I think that was that year. Regardless, that's what the Eagles remind me of right now. Now, this Eagles team loaded up on a ton of talent in free agency. I don't expect that to happen to them. I just am saying I really hope it doesn't. Jalen Hurts is excellent. He doesn't throw the ball as well as Lamar, and he's not as fast as Lamar's. There's absolutely no way I can put him in S tier. I think people say tush push merchant as if that works against him. I'm not putting Jalen Hurts in A tier because of his rushing touchdowns. I'm putting Jalen Hurts in A tier because I think he's a really good quarterback. An excellent quarterback and a lot of, he would start on most franchises. That puts him in A tier. He would not start on Baltimore. He would not start on Kansas City. Josh Allen also gets A tier. I love Josh Allen's game. Holy shit, I love Josh Allen. Josh Allen is like a, he's like a true football player and I like that. He's a quarterback who is not afraid to actually run and be significantly physical and Buffalo uses him like that and I think that's awesome. He also can make absolutely disgusting throws. He's got a cannon for an arm, but he doesn't get S tier because he's, he's kind of a turnover magnet. He will huck that shit more than he should and he fumbles too, so I can't give him S tier. Jimmy G is D tier to me. I have no idea how the NFL teams have been hoodwinked by Jimmy G so long. I don't know how he could continues to get serious contracts. I get it. You're an NFL quarterback. You get paid a lot of money. This dude is scamming. He is properly scamming everyone by being handsome. The Jimmy G wouldn't be in the fucking league if he wasn't handsome, bro. I actually believe that. Non-delusionally believe that. Gosh, Jordan Love. I'm giving Jordan Love A tier. I know that's really bold, but wow, Jordan Love was so, so, so good. And he was so good in really big games. I know he had that interception at the end of the championship game against the 49ers, but he led them there, and he played a really good game during that championship game, if you take that interception away. He played really, really well. I really like Jordan Love, and he fucking dominated the Dallas Cowboys in the round before that. So he's played well at high levels. He's young, and, and I really think Jordan Love could be an S-tier pretty soon here. I think in two years, I wouldn't be shocked if I'm putting Jordan Love as an S-tier quarterback. Okay, Bryce Young. I think Bryce Young had such a shitty first year that people are going to be really frustrated about this, but I'm still putting Bryce Young in C-tier, and, and I'm actually tempted to put him in B-tier. Bryce Young is in the worst situation you could possibly be in as an NFL quarterback. My favorite comparison is Peyton Manning, who had a horrible rookie career because that's what happens when you get drafted round one pick one you go to a really shitty situation unless of course you're Caleb Williams you're getting drafted to a team that was pretty solid with pretty c-tier quarterback play from Justin Fields now you load up on more talent so he's going to a great situation Bryce Young is is in a floundering organization I still think he's a c-tier quarterback but that being said then have shit on CJ Stroud CJ Stroud's getting a tier dude he hilariously like CJ Stroud is actually closer to s tier than like a lot of guys. Here's a super bold, like incredibly aggressive thing to say. Who would you rather have as your franchise quarterback right now? CJ Stroud or Josh Allen? I think I'm taking Josh Allen right now, but like, holy shit, maybe I'm actually taking CJ Stroud. Ooh, I don't even want to be asked that hypothetical question. CJ Stroud outperformed like crazy. There were very few people going into the NFL draft who would have drafted CJ Stroud with that pick. There were very few people. So yes, if you're like Ohio State God or you're just the most genius, smartest man of all time, Time, you can say, oh, they should have taken C.J. Stroud. I would have taken C.J. Stroud. I didn't think that at all going into the draft. It was clear to me that round one pick one was Bryce Young and round one pick two was C.J. Stroud. He significantly outperformed. He had success in the playoffs as a rookie on a Texas team that's supposed to be dog shit. Historic rookie quarterback season. One of the best, if not the best rookie quarterback season of all time. Absolute A tier. C.J. Stroud's a beast. Where do we go from here? Daniel Jones. So here's the thing about Daniel Jones, right? Daniel Jones is C tier. He's not not D tier. I'm not going to pretend like he's horrible. I'm not going to be delusional and put him any higher. But the thing about Daniel Jones is he's been on the Giants now for, I think, six years. The Bears gave up on Justin Fields after two years of mediocre quarterback play. The Steelers gave up on Kenny Pickett after two years of mediocre quarterback play. The Giants are sticking with Dan Daniel Jones. I'm really shocked by this. I'm shocked that he continues to have this massive contract and this huge role in the team when he just is not that good. Daniel Jones is a C tier quarterback for me. He goes right alongside Justin Fields. Out of these three guys, though, I'm taking Bryce Young any day of the week. Joe Burrow gets A tier. He's had serious playoff success. I know he's injured this year, but he still gets A tier. I'm not, I'm not moving him from A tier. I don't think there's much to be said about that. He's an excellent quarterback. He has flashes of being super hot dog water though. He really does. He always has a couple games where you're like, shit, is he actually still good? And then he is. Brock Purdy gets A tier too. I know you're pissed. I know he's a system quarterback. I know you're so mad. This guy went to the Super Bowl. He's the next Tom Brady, whether you like it or not. Get ready for Brock Purdy to continue to be a starting quarterback and play at a really high level for the next 10 years. I'm going to put two around 
right along with Geno Smith as our second B-tier quarterback. Tua scares me a little bit. Tua's a little wishy-washy sometimes. Tua's one of those guys who'll put up like this absolute bonkers stat line, and then it comes with big game, and he's just not the best decision maker right now. He's still young, and I'd be happy, and I think a lot of teams be happy to have Tua as their quarterback, but I'm not putting him up here with any of these guys yet. I think so far this is a really accurate list, and I'm actually gonna try and like order these guys. How I would order, how would I order these guys? I would order them exactly like this actually. I'd go Stroud, no. I'd go Josh Allen, Stroud, no. Sorry, sorry Stroud, I love you. I'd go Josh Allen, Burrow, Stroud, Hurts, Love, Purdy. And Mahomes has gotta be in front of Lamar. Two has gotta be in front of Gino. I'm not gonna be ranking them the whole time like that. I just wanted to do it for my own mental. Let's throw a couple D tiers in here. Mac Jones, proven below average quarterback play. I don't wanna hear it about Mac Jones. Drew Locke, proven mediocre quarterback play. Brissett, you get D tier too. Yeah, he's, you know, he's he's okay. If you really badly need someone to just not lose the game for you, you could throw Brissett in, but he ain't gonna win the game for you either. God, who else is in here? I'm skipping some of these guys because it's just not even worth the discussion. Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold could almost get, can I really? even have an F tier? Like, can you be an F tier NFL quarterback? Oh, I don't want to be a dick. I'm going to give Will Levis C tier. Um, I just haven't seen enough of Will Levis yet. He has had some flashes of being really, really good. I don't think I've seen enough Will Levis to give him anything higher than C tier, but I'm not putting him in D tier because he, he definitely looked pretty solid. I just got to see a little more Will Levis. Kyler Murray's B tier. I think Kyler Murray at all times has A and S tier potential. I'm not giving up on Kyler Murray. I really like Kyler Murray. I just think the Arizona Cardinals are just, they just suck right now, man. They just just suck right now. It's that simple. And obviously he was out for a decent portion of the season, but Kyler's still really good. And I'm definitely taking Kyler over any of these guys literally any of them. I'll put Richardson in that same tier too. Anthony Richardson was off to a really hot start. That injury kind of sucked, but from what I saw prior, definitely getting B tier. Dude, Jared Goff, I almost could give Jared Goff A tier. Jared Goff was really good this season, but here's the thing. Last season, Jared Goff was trash. The season before that, he was trash. This season, Jared Goff, he played A tier quarterback. I can't just give him A tier though. I've seen too much bad, so I gotta, I gotta have a temper expectation. I'm gonna put him in B tier, but I love Jared Goff. I believe in him. Give me another good season, Goff. I got you, bro. I'll throw you back up in A tier. Here's probably like one of the most difficult guys to evaluate right here is Russell Wilson. Like just a few years ago in Seattle, Russell Wilson was, you know, for the first eight weeks of the season, he was a front runner for MVP or maybe three years ago, but whatever. Like this is a guy who's played MVP caliber football recently, but also has looked like shit recently. It's, this is a really tough one to evaluate, but I am going to put Russell Wilson in B tier. I think he's the starter in Pittsburgh right now. If I'm Pittsburgh, I think he's better than Justin Fields. I think he's obviously lost a step. He's not as good as he was in Seattle. I'm not ready to give him C tier. Honestly, like, if I was gonna do F, I feel like Zach Wilson is str fucking trash. Zach Wilson is really bad. It would just, oh, I hate saying something like that. I actually want to make this point. I'm not going soft, but I want to make this point. Like when I say somebody is trash or ass, they're ass on the, on the best level. They are incredibly good at football, but in the National Football League, they're ass. I think everybody already kind of knows that, but I just, I don't know. I meet these guys in person and there's a video of me on the internet floating around saying Zach Wilson's fucking ass. Like, I don't really mean that. I just see me he's struggling in the NFL. Whatever. Dude, you slept with like, with your best friend's mom when it pissed off your ex-girlfriend. That's so sick. Let's let that clip be out there, bro. Let that clip be out there. But yeah, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't trust you to win my team a Super Bowl. I'm sorry. I would trust you to sleep with my friend's mom. Aaron Rodgers is uh, A tier. I know we didn't get to see Aaron Rodgers this year, but like Aaron Rodgers is A tier. I would have loved to see Aaron Rodgers play this year and then maybe I could slap him up in S tier, but I don't think I can give Aaron Rodgers S tier having not played a snap this season. So I'm just going to put him at A tier on an assumption. I think it's a fair one though. Justin Herbert gets A tier too. Ooh. You know what? If I'm, th I'm throwing a lot of guys in A tier, I'm actually going to bump Jordan Love down. I'm going to bump Jordan Love down to B tier. He's the best of the B tier, but I don't want too many in A. I think that's unfair. I think the rest of these guys deserve to be up here. I think there's two arguments you can make. I think you could argue for Jalen Hurts. You could argue for Brock Purdy, but ah, maybe not. I don't even think you could argue for Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy had a spectacular season. You could maybe argue Jalen Hurts, but I am not moving Herbert. I'm not moving Stroud. I'm not moving Rodgers. I'm not moving Burrow, and I'm not moving Josh Allen. So debate a wall. Um, gosh, Tannehill. C tier two. I'm not willing to put Tannehill up with some of these B tier guys, but like I, if I'm an NFL franchise and I don't have a quarterback, I don't mind Tannehill as an option. He's a solid option. So he, he's better than some of these guys for sure. We'll put him at the top of C tier. Dak Prescott gets B tier because he consistently underperforms in the playoffs very consistently. He also consistently has spectacular regular seasons. He is consistently a top five MVP regular season candidate. That's tr also true. Dak has been a top five MVP candidate 
eliminated for the last four years. And then he sucked in the playoffs for the last four years. I have to put him in B tier for that reason. If he performs well in the playoffs, he gets A. If he does what he does in the playoffs and also isn't that great in the regular season, he gets C. So he's he's staying in B tier. I like Dak Prescott. Sometimes I don't know if it's Dak or if it's just the game plan or like him and McCarthy and the whole Cowboys organization is cursed or something, but they just underperformed too much. I can't give you A tier. Oh boy, where are we at now? Some of these dudes are not even worth ranking. Like where am I going to rank Stetson Bennett? Can't even consider. What did I rank Trey Lance? Jameis Winston. Ooh, Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield gets a high B tier. I'm not going to put him up with some of these guys, but um, I mean, gosh, if I had made a, a tier list two years ago, Baker would have been D tier. Same thing last year would have been D tier, but this season, Baker played great football. Great football. And he finally found a home. He's been like this like tossed around play thing with all these teams for these one year deals. And he's found a home in Tampa Bay. So congratulations, Baker Mayfield. Definitely getting B tier for that. Stafford's B tier too. He's definitely not as good as he was in like his Lions prime, but he's, he's still an excellent quarterback. I, I can't give him A tier though. I will give... I can't give Trevor Lawrence A tier either. I'm tempted to give Trevor Lawrence A tier, but I won't. He definitely gets a really high B tier though. I think the highest B tier quarterbacks are probably Trevor Lawrence, Jordan Love. Now these two are at the top of B tier by themselves. I think this is accurate as I look at this. It's like there's a lot in B tier, but that's kind of how it is in the NFL. They're really how it is. There's like some incredible incredible quarterbacks and then everybody else is like shit i'm just kind of waiting for my patrick mahomes to get drafted or to come to this team who else let's th let's throw sam howell in here sam howell is, is a fucking shot chucker sam howell is like the nba what's his nba equivalent who just chucks up shots gets a crazy stat line every game but is not actually that effective i don't know the nba comparison but sam howell has like 50 pass attempts a game so he's ending with these really impressive stat lines so if you're not looking at pass attempts he looks like he's probably a top five quarterback sam howell is okay. He doesn't make the best decisions. He was on a shitty commander's team and they basically just said, hey, look, buddy, start chucking that fucking thing because we're always losing these games. So let's just throw 50 passes a game. And uh, he did it. And he did it better than uh, some guys would have, but he doesn't deserve B tier for it. So I'm going to give him C tier. Who else is worth even ranking here? Mario is trash. Desmond Ritter's trash. Thank God the Falcons got Kirk Cousins. Seriously, the quarterback play. Like Atlanta is such a talented roster. For them to have performed as poorly as they did, it was really frustrating. I didn't like Ritter or Mariota. Oh, Kirk Cousins and Derek Carr. I got to get both these guys. Okay, I think Derek Carr is not good. He is just not good. I'm giving Derek Carr C tier. I think that's going to frustrate a lot of people. I think a lot of people want him in B, but I just can't. No, dude, I can't do it. Uh, Kirk Cousins, quintessential B tier quarterback. Cousins and Jared Goff could hang out together. I think in the Atlanta Falcons offense, Kirk Cousins definitely has an opportunity to be A tier this season. But then you think about the Vikings. The Vikings have had a lot of really good weapons too. Like Justin Jefferson's probably, he's a top two wide receiver in football. He's had that for a huge chunk of his career. And before that, he had Stefan Diggs, right? So he's always had some really good threats. I just think he has even more threats now. He has an even better. And then he's had Dalvin Cook. Yeah, Kirk doesn't get A. He gets B. And uh, if he has an amazing season here with Atlanta, he can get A. I don't think I'm going to rank anybody else. If I didn't rank your absolute favorite quarterback of all time, you can email complaints to Ligma Sugma. This is my final tier list right here. Mahomes, Lamar, and S tier, the A tier, Josh Allen, Burrow. I actually love this. I'm not messing with this. I'm not messing with this at all. If you're mad, get gooder. I love you guys. Thank you for watching as always. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.